it's the modern nirvana, let me tell you. Yeah, girl, just breathe through it. It's all good. <laughs> Hi, Kat. How are you? How are you? It's so good to have you and see you. You look beautiful. Thank you. I love your outfit. It reminds you. me so much of Christmas. I'm so into it. <laughs> so I was so into this film, not just because I'm a Jew who's secretly into Christmas. Don't tell my parents. <laughs> You're all into it. <laughs> so into it. <laughs> but also because it raises awareness for the U.S. Defense Forces and the great work that they're doing. And we need that boost of just goodwill now, especially now after the year we've all been having. Um, so for those that don't know, tell them about Operation Christmas Drop and about Erica. Sure. So, hey guys, I'm Kat. I uh, am in a movie called Operation Christmas Drop, which is based on the real life uh, volunteer mission that the Anderson Air Force Base does out of Guam. It's the longest running humanitarian airlift mission in the world, 68 years. I play Erica Miller, who is a aide to a congresswoman who is sent down to Guam to shut down the operation. And tell me about your work on the Anderson Air Force Base. What was that like? Um, well, when you look at how much work that everyone does, my work was probably the most unimpressive. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that being said, I we had such a great time. Um, the Anderson Air Force Base, everyone, everyone worked really hard to pull this film together. We were the first film other than a doc that uh, mm -hmm. had shot on the island. So we had challenges, but we really um, kind of bossed up and had the most amazing time. And we just really pulled it together. I mean, they, they more than me um, and <laughs> just amazing. They were just so great. It was a great experience. And you got to share a scene with brother Bruce Best, who's doing some amazing work down there. What was it like interacting with him? And did he tell you a bit about the work he's been doing? Yes, I spoke to brother Bruce, probably um, besides Alexander, I kind of talked his ear off or made him explain everything from like, you know, how he lived to how long he's been doing the operation. I mean, they would be like, cat, we're rolling. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you know, I just was so um, intrigued and impressed and inspired by him. Even just the thought of him makes me emotional because he really is like, I called him like the real Santa Claus, the island Santa Claus. There are people that exist in this world that sole purpose is to make this world better. And when they see mm -hmm. that people or communities need support, that they make it their mission to help. And the fact that he's in this film and I got the honor of being around him and knowing how long he's been working on this this mission with the Air Force, it, it just blew my mind. And I'm, I'm, I can't speak highly of him enough. I really can't, mm. he's a magical person. Now, I love the snorkeling and the singing deck, the halls and the dancing. Like, I know you can dance. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was really fun um, because what's, for me, I either have to like really, really dance, like, yeah triple pirouette, let's go, or I can't <laughs> really silly. Um, right. so that was actually totally in my wheelhouse. I am very, <laughs> like, I'll be at the club whenever I would go to the club, which was never, but if I was ever, <laughs> at, and I would just start dancing and like ridiculous and make people uncomfortable. I think that that's really fun to just pretend like you can't dance. Uh, but I had a great time. <laughs> you know what? The extras, I cracked them up. They had they had a lot of fun at my expense, especially the kids. And, and, and them laughing at me was um, <laughs> completely worth every single moment. <laughs> Your favorite memory from set? Every day. Every day. I, this, this film, I can say with absolute honesty, was the most fun I've ever had on a film. Um, I, I can't even pick one day or one moment I would laugh every day till I had tears in my eyes. Um, I had so much fun. And you know, towards the end of the film with um, Virginia Madsen, when she kind of comes off the plane and um, we have that moment, 
uh, for me, that was great. I also like had a couple scenes, one in particular where I made Martin Wood cry. Hi, Martin. I just spilled your business. And he was so, <laughs> I felt it was like a really great moment. And I love when, I don't know, when, when you have these moments where, you know, you're shooting a movie and it's like, you know, it's kind of a phony world and all that, but you have these right. kind of moments um, and they're rare where you really feel like, and I, I really like, my favorite moments are when the crew reacts. Like if a grip comes up mm -hmm. to me, like if a director comes up to me or even another actor or somebody in here, I'm like, oh, you did great. Like, it's great. But if like a grip or somebody who's like the caterer who might've like come by and like stood and watched the scene and they have tears in their eyes or Martin who yes. maybe wasn't expecting anything. Like when the actual crew reacts to you, that's when I'm like, okay, something like lived here, something special. Mm -hmm was existing in this moment. And that those are the moments I really, mm. I really look forward to. And now I need to know, how did you make him cry? <laughs> you know, we were talking about Christmas and, mm. and Martin is very, um, he's just a perfect father and a great director and an all around really good guy. And he's yeah. somebody who had a different kind of um, childhood like I did. And mm -hmm. really connected to the idea of what Christmas is about. And we really connected in that way. And I won't spill his business or mine <laughs> uh, that isn't already out there, but it was just right. one of those moments where no matter where you come from and no matter what you experience and no matter what you look like, there is this connection that we all have with each other that when you pay attention to it, and you allow it in, and you give yourself permission to like really be in harmony with everyone and support everyone and love everyone. And that we're all, we all want the same thing out of life in a lot of ways that something really beautiful can come from that. Like we bloom, you know what I mean? And I think mm -hmm. in a lot of ways throughout this film, um, a lot of us bloomed for sure. Mm -hmm. And what have you been watching and reading lately that you've been really into? There's only one book that I'm reading right now. It's called Vasistas Yoga. It's like 70, mm. 700 something pages. And I'm, you know, with all my work that you mentioned, Modern Nirvana. So I'm, I'm right. really thought about kind of awareness and, you know, love and service and stuff like that. So that's really been my book. And then I've also been reading a, a kid's book called The Train mm. of Impossible Places. I just thought it was a really fun read. Um, mm. and, you know, I think it's a really great um, book for kids. Um, uh, that I was just, I thought would be really fun to read. So I'm reading a really, really hard one and a really easy one. <laughs> Nothing in between. I'm never in between. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you so much for all of the work that you do, your producing work. Thank you for your patience. I really appreciate it. Your patience. Thanks for sticking it out. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Kat. I really appreciate it. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Bye.